Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right? So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Ezra, verses 4 and 5. But of course, we know in this week we've been discussing what is the purpose of distraction? Why is Satan bringing all these distractions into your life? All right. And we saw on, on, on uh, I think it was Tuesday, he said you got to keep our eyes on Jesus. We got to stay focused on him and, and, and look away from all that will distract. And so we asked the question, what has Satan been using lately to try to distract you? Has it been your spouse, your house, your job, career, finances, kids, your health, my Lord? What has he been trying to use lately to distract you and get you off course, all right? What is the purpose of distractions? It is to keep you overly occupied and too busy to focus on the one thing that's needful, and that's seeking the Lord, that's seeking God's plan and purpose for your life. Again, there's a lot of things that are important, but Jesus said there's only one thing that's needful. There's only one thing that's necessary, and that's making sure you're keeping God first place in your life, keeping him top priority, and he'll help you with everything else that's important in your life, all right? So let's read Ezra 4 and verse 4, and it says, Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building and hired counselors against them. Why? To frustrate their purpose. My Lord. Amplified verse 5 says, to frustrate their purpose and their plans. My Lord, distractions come to frustrate your purpose and to hinder the plan of God for your life. They come to stop you from going forward and doing what God has purposed you to do. You have a great assignment and call upon your life. Don't allow distractions to come in and stop you from building. Have you ever been trying to do something, my Lord, and it seemed like everything was trying to stop you from doing it? My God, you trying to, and just something, I mean, I don't care what it is. You're trying to do something, and all these different distractions kept coming in to stop you from doing what you desired to do. That's frustrating. And that's what distractions come to do, to frustrate your purpose, to stop you from going for, to stop you from building, to stop you from carrying out the call and assignment God has placed upon your life. And I encourage you, don't be distracted on today, my Lord. Don't allow the distractions to come in and hinder you from doing what God has called you to do. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take your meal on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and one another. And for that, Father, we say thank you. And we take the bread right now which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace and complete holiness was upon you. With and by your stripes we were healed, therefore we are healed. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Everything you did was for us. It was all for us. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus. And we acknowledge every time we take communion, all the covenant benefits, rights, and privileges are released and dispersed on the inside of us. And we say, thank you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you. We take the bread. We eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we take the cup. The cup of the blessing. The blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning. Holy, blameless, the righteousness of God without fault without blame and love, all sins forgiven, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again, my God. And we love you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the new covenant, and we drink all of it. Saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So I encourage you on this morning, beware of the distractions. They just come to frustrate you. My God, you're trying to do great things in the earth and these distractions come to try to frustrate your purpose, my Lord. But I encourage you, don't allow it. You keep on going forward. Amen. Amen. So let's go and do our in-hymn confession on this morning. 
I am who God says I am. I am in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God. I am forgiven. I am blameless. I am free. I am not guilty. I am accepted. I am loved. I am chosen. I am adopted. I am a child of God. I am whole. I am complete. I am healed. I am blessed. I am favored. I am increasing. I am cared for. I'm walking in authority. I am victorious. I am an overcomer. I am heaven bound. <clears throat> now remember, you're speaking to yourself right here. I forgive you and I release you. Keep on growing in the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for all you've done. Father, we thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, I shout grace, grace to every household, to all those who are watching right now online. Father, I thank you to every need of every household is made in full with abundance and more than enough, Father. And I ask you, Father, to show them your glory. And I pray for all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. You are the Lord our God, the healer for us, Father. You heal them all. We receive your healing. We take it. We have it. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. And I speak peace right now, Father, to every household, Father. We bind the spirit of division and discord and confusion. And we thank you for peace and oneness, Father, and unity in those households right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. We love you, Father. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you guys for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Hey, we love you. We pray each and every one of you have a great day, a blessed day in God's presence. Amen. Amen. I love you guys.